Okay, good morning, third grade. Today we're doing um, our test number 20. So you should be doing this on April 22nd. It should be on a Wednesday. This video you should be seeing April 22nd, uh, Wednesday, test number 20. It looks like this. Test number 20. I'll be going reading over the questions with you as we go, okay? So try to listen as I show you each question. Okay, number one. It says, let me see if I can come on the side a little bit here for you guys. Okay, ready? The volume of this stack of boxes is how many cubic feet? So the volume, we know the volume. You multiply the length times the width times the height. Okay, number two. Number two says, two years ago, Diego was 90 centimeters tall. Now he is 102 centimeters tall. How much has Diego grown? Okay, so you know what to do there. Three, what multiplication fact is shown by this rectangular array? Number four, which of the following units is the same as two cups? So which one is equal to two cups. Two cups equals, okay. Next, number five. Number five, this rectangle is partly covered with small squares. Altogether, how many small squares would it take to cover the rectangle? You could even draw the squares in, even if you wanted to. Number six, Ty keeps red, blue, I'm sorry, Ty keeps red, white, and blue marbles in his game bag. He has 43 marbles. Five marbles are blue, 25 marbles are white, and the rest are red. If he reached into the bag without looking, what color marble is he most likely to pull out? Most likely. Okay, seven. Estimate the price of 12 DVDs if each DVD costs $29. You need to estimate. Okay. Number eight. Which of these numbers is odd? We know are odd and even. Number nine. To estimate the total cost of buying five movie tickets for $8.25 each, Tom multiplied five by $9. And will Tom's estimate be greater than, less than, or equal to the exact cost? You tell me. Greater than, less than, or equal to. Okay. All right. Number 10. Change this addition to a multiplication, and then you find the total. So this addition here, you need to make sure you change it to a multiplication fact down here. Okay. Number 11. Number 11. Divide 8, sorry, divide 18 divided by 2. Number 12, what is the name of this figure? Okay. Number 13, find the missing add-in. 5 plus 2, 7 plus 7 plus n equals 22. You need to find that missing number. Okay. That should, if put that number in there, should equal 22. All right. 14, draw a rectangle and shade four-fifths of it. So you want to draw your rectangle over here. 15, solve. 16 divided by parentheses, 5 plus 3. Don't forget to do what's in parentheses first. Number nine, 16, multiply 6 times $2.65. Okay, you need to show your work. Make sure you show your work, okay? All right, next. Um, let's see here. 17. 17, we have a room, uh, sorry, a room that is... 15 feet long and 15 feet wide has a perimeter of how many feet? We know what perimeter is, adding all the sides. Good job. 18, a room that is 15 feet and 15 feet wide has an area of how many square feet? We know what area is, length times the width. Okay, two more. Number 19, <clears throat> 19 says solve $50 minus parentheses, $30 plus $11. Don't forget to do what's in parentheses first. 20, what is half of 132? Half of that number. Okay, put your answer down. All righty. Okay, and uh, of course, 
since it is asking for a half, um, you can divide that by 2. So you can do a division, 132 divided by 2, okay? You can set that up there, 132 divided by 2, okay? And that's the divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. I would definitely show those steps, DMSB. And if you're still struggling with the long division, you can look up some uh, videos or you can also, um, you can also, um, what's it called? You can also um, review the, the division problems or uh, the, the division lesson, okay? You can always repeat that. Um, and then in a couple weeks, I will be giving you guys some review division, long division worksheets so you guys can practice at home. And then I'll probably do a video maybe this upcoming week, okay? And it'll be a review division, long division lesson where it's only gonna be long division problems and we'll be keep on practicing and practicing, okay? You guys will be so good by the time you graduate from third grade and you go on to the next uh, grade level. So we'll keep practicing that. Do your best on your test. Make sure you show your work. Make sure you don't cheat because God is always watching you. Okay, third grade, I missed you guys and have a good day.